Good morning. Let's confess the Word of God together. Jesus is my Lord. Jesus is Lord over my family. Jesus is Lord over my nation. And Jesus is Lord over the nations of the earth. In Jesus' name. I am what the Word says I am. I can do what the Word says I can do. And I have what the Word says that I have. In the name of Jesus. My ears are opened to hear the word. I am a doer of the word and not a hearer only. Therefore, I am blessed in my doing of the word. So this is probably going to be the last day right now for um, ministering on the wisdom that God has given us on our tongue, on our words, on our lips, on what we speak. This has been so rich. I have been going back over these videos myself because faith comes by hearing the word and I encourage you to do the same thing in uh, 1st Corinthians 1 30 God tells us that of Christ of him we are in Christ that Christ is made unto us the wisdom of God so this is the very wisdom of God in James chapter 3 he says if any man sin not in word, the same is a perfect or mature man and able to control his whole body. Behold, we put bits in the horse's mouths that they may obey us, and we turn about their whole body. Behold also the ships, which though they be so great and are driven of fierce winds, yet are they turned about with a very small helm or rudder wherever the governor listeth. Do we believe that? Then he goes on to say, even so, the tongue. So do you believe that a rider on a horse can turn a horse about with a very small bit in his mouth by just pulling on the reins? Do you believe that the captain of a ship can turn a ship totally around to go another direction by just turning the wheel that turns the rudder instead of having to get out and push the ship around, which would be near impossible for a big ship. Of course we believe that. Then do you also believe what God says, that your tongue will also turn your very life around? Whether or not you've ever heard any examples of this from anyone having proved this out, it doesn't matter. It is God's word. And if God says this will happen, if God says we can turn our lives about with our tongue by just changing what we are saying with our tongue, then it is so. Because God never lies. His word is truth. Jesus said, thy word is truth. So I'm so thankful for God giving this to us to make it so easy on us. Another scripture in Mark 11:23, 23, Jesus said, have the faith of God. For verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, and he was talking about a literal mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things that he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. So, you know, in the natural, to move a huge mountain would take probably years of uh, explosives and carrying stuff off and all of that. But he said, but with your words of faith, you could literally say to this mountain, just like he spoke to the fig tree, be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea, and said it would obey you, and you would have whatsoever you said. If you believe, what you say will come to pass. So it's not enough to just not say. The Lord reminds me of this all the time because he does set a watch on our mouth, and it's important not to say the curse or to say things that you don't desire. 
But in place of that, it is very important that we speak the word of God and that we speak our desires. In Matthew chapter 9, the, uh, there were four men that brought a man, a friend, sick of the palsy to Jesus. You'll remember the story. They climbed up on the roof because there was no place to get in. And Jesus said, thy sins be forgiven thee. Well, that really caused some of the rulers of the synagogue and the Pharisees to get upset. And he, he looked at them. He said, which is easier? Now listen to this. Which is easier to say, thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, rise up and walk? He didn't say which is easier to do. He said, which is easier to say, thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, rise up and walk? But that you would know that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins. He looked at the man that was sick of the palsy and said, rise and walk. And the man rose and walked. He did it with his words. But he said, which is easier to say. So, which is easier for you to say? I'm in debt or I am debt free? Which is easier to say? I'm in lack or I have an abundance of money all the time. I have that my uh, storehouses are full, that my savings accounts, my checking accounts, my wallet is always full of hundred dollar bills, full of thousands of dollars, full of millions of dollars, which is easier to say. I'm sick or I'm healed, which is easier to say. I am full of joy or I'm depressed, which, which is easier to say because you changing your words will change your very life. That's what the Holy Spirit said to us. So take this very serious. Ask the Lord to put his words in your mouth. And a good way to um, help yourself and it's good for spouses to help each other. And our family, really, we worked with each other on it when our children were young. And uh, we would say, do you want me to agree with you on that? But another thing is you can say, if you say so, if you say so. So if a person says something negative, well, if you say so, but then also agree when you're saying wealth and riches are in my house. Think, if I say so, yes, you say so, and you have so what you say. You give voice to the word of God, and God performs his word for you. So if you really believe this, make a very conscious, definite decision to begin speaking what the truth of the word is, that you are more than a conqueror, that you have triumphed, that you have already overcome Satan, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world, that you do have wealth and riches in your house. So take these. The Holy Spirit will add to you, add to you, revelation and will give you utterance because the word says if you he that hath to more will be given as you act on this little bit that uh, the lord has given us through me then as you act on it then god will give you more and saints you will see your life take an immediate turn for the best of everything because that's god's will for you remember all day jesus is lord Thank God for his word. Thank God for his wisdom. Thank God for him telling us how to speak right words so that we will have right things in our life. In Jesus' name.